Welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we're bringing you the Ars Nova expansion for Time of Legends, Joan of Arc. Now this is an expansion that's based in a monastery. All the, the scenarios that come with this, I believe, are going to be in this monastery setting. The cool thing with this one is it has a scenario designed for one to three players. So you can, uh, this, this makes, I believe, the second, I think there's only one in here, so the second scenario uh, that you can play solo with Joan of Arc, which of course is not primarily a solo game. It's primarily a uh, head to head game. So before we get into the box, I do want to mention our sponsor, Board Game Co. This is a website where you can buy, sell, and trade games. They have a great selection for you to choose from with great prices. So go over there and find all kinds of games to add to your collection. But if your collection is too big, you can also sell games over there. And of course, you can trade games over there as well. Not a lot of options for trading games out there other than Board Game Geek. So be sure to check out Board Game Co and see what they have to offer over there. Click the link in the description below so they'll know that I sent you. All right, let's get down to the table and I will show you what comes in the box for the Ars Nova expansion. All right, so here we are with the Joan of Arc, the Time of Legends Joan of Arc Ars Nova expansion. This is a relatively small one compared to all the rest. Uh, you can see there's some more monk artwork on the back. All right, let's jump into this. Right, so there's the French instructions for the scenario. Here we go, the Ars Nova controversy for one to three players. So here's another uh, solo capable scenario. A lot of structures in this one. Uh, I think you're in kind of a, a monastery you know, area here is the whole idea. Uh, lots of... Oh, there's two, okay, two uh, different, two different scenarios. This is the Abbey of the Three Fountains, two-player scenario. Okay. Again, the French version here, the pri uh, Priory Intrigue Cards, Dark Intrigue Cards, okay. Interesting. So here we've got some more tiles. Obviously going to have lots of those. Some cool new features on these that I haven't seen before necessarily. There's a graveyard on this one. Of course, got building interior and the torn down version of that building. Uh, what else do we have here? Looks like these are like some uh, gardens or you know farm area. Here's another. A rubble area. Not sure exactly what that is. I've got some more building interiors, another garden area there, looks like. More, another, hmm, not sure what that is, but it looks pretty cool. And of course, the rubble of all those buildings. Lots of tokens, some additional experience tokens. Legend tokens, intrigue, and then all kinds of different stuff here that we haven't seen before. Haven't seen that board before either. Okay. The back of those tokens are all the same. So, be interested to find out how those work, what they're about. Here's something different. Okay, and then these do have, well, okay, so this so the, this side is the same for all of them. This side is the ones that are different. So I get, it looks like all skulls except for four pages here or something. Um, we've got some new minis in here. Let's take a look at these.
So looks like, come on, there you go. We've got some monks in here, um, someone with the hoods up. Here's one with a cross. Here's one uh, kneeling. Oh no, not kneeling, that's just, never mind. This one with a book. I think that's pretty much all the different models here. So a few new stands, looks like four new stands there. A hourglass for some reason. Interesting, so some sort of real time element to this. Some new bags. Here we go with some cards that I haven't seen before. Specific to this expansion. See, that's not a card back that we've seen before. These are all plus three, plus two, plus one, zero, and X. Then over here, so these are troop cards. Novice, monk, processional monk, librarian monk, elder monk, novice, Oh, okay, and then the French versions. Okay, so here's the English right here. And then we've got a whole bunch of this. So what's going on here? So let's see. So some different card backs here. Got those. Oh, okay, then we've got some intrigue cards, and that's something we've never seen before. All right, so a bunch. Let's let's go through this now. So let's look at these first. No idea what these are. All right. If the elder monk is in the same area or an adjacent area to a character, this character discards an order of their choice. Mission: Go to the capitular hall. Spend one legend token to look at it. All right. So these. All kinds of new stuff going on here. This is pretty exciting because I have no idea whatsoever. Let's see. So there's where the French ones start. So here are all of the English ones, whatever these are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of those. It's French. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, there we go, Franciscan Intrigue. Okay, so that's the English side, French side, all right. And then Chapter Hall Reunion, French side, okay. So then. Muttering. Priories of Sanity, Satanic Cult, Deadly. What in the world? Like, oh, where's the book? Let me see the book. I'm really curious what these are. So, all right, so these are called Abbey cards. Those are Abbey cards. These are challenge cards. I still have no idea what these are. I don't know, we'll have to go through it and figure it out, but it's very interesting. These are more English one side, French on the other. Yeah, 
And then again, these are more that we haven't seen before. Uh, let's see. That is French. And oh, wait, let's look at this. So those last ones were the Priory Intrigue cards, and these are the Dark Intrigue cards, but still not completely clear on what they're going to do, obviously. And then finally, we've got our character cards, Novice 1, Novice 2, the Franciscan, and then the French versions of those. All right, there you go. That's everything that comes in the Ars Nova expansion for Time of Legends, Joan of Arc. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, you can subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And until next time, it's your board online, board offline.